beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about this brand new foundation from Physicians Formula this is called the Butter Believe It foundation and concealer this is currently available I purchased mine from the Physicians Formula website it is kind of available at Ulta as well I know that a lot of different drugstores carry Physicians Formula, so you can probably find it if you look around at places like Target, CVS, Walgreens. I'll look online and see which of those retailers have it available on their online stores, and I'll link anywhere I find it down in the description box for you. I pointed out Ulta basically for two reasons. If you go to the Physicians Formula site, this is available for $14.99 and there are 12 different shades. 12 shades isn't a lot. I'm not going to say by any means that it's perfect. Clearly 12 shades of foundation, particularly one like this that is not a very forgiving light coverage type of foundation. 12 shades isn't great. It's good for Physicians Formula. If you remember the Physicians Formula of like five or six years ago, they would literally make one or two shades in their face products. There's a decent gradient going on here. It's priced at $14.99. However, you can get this on the Ulta website for $11.99, but they only have the five lightest shades available on their site. They only have fair through medium. If you wanna buy anything darker than medium, then you're gonna to have to pay an extra $3 for it. And I just, something about that just, doesn't sit right with me. Maybe these are available in store and you can get the full shade range. I don't know. I haven't been in Ulta in well over a year. Okay, I just looked on the Target website. Same thing. It's priced at $11.99. They only have the first five shades. What? What's the deal here, guys? Target, Ulta? Hmm. That just rubbed me the wrong way and I wanted to address that first. Let's talk about this foundation. I saw a couple people talking about this online and talking about how this was probably the replacement for the Healthy Foundation from Physicians Formula, which I really like. I actually picked up two different shades. I got Fair and Light because I wasn't really sure about the undertones. I wanna give you a little bit of info about this foundation first before we get into the application and wear test stuff. This is paraben free and vegan. So for all my vegan friends out there, here is a new foundation for you. These are packaged in a glass bottle. The pump component is plastic and the lid is plastic, but the bottle itself is actually glass. This has a natural radiant finish. It is a medium buildable coverage. And this foundation is scented. It's not the same scent as the Healthy Foundation that had a sweet fruity yuzu scent to it. This kind of smells like the butter bronzer, that Morumoro butter beachy kind of scent to it. It doesn't smell that strong to me, but I didn't think that the healthy foundation smelled that strong to me either. And then a bunch of people told me that it was way, way too scented for them. So I definitely wanted to mention that. I know a lot of people are sensitive to fragrance in their makeup or they just simply don't like it. So this is, this is scented. This has quite a fragrance. Not a deal breaker for me, but it might be for you. So just be aware of that. Now that you've heard all the info about this foundation, let's get into the application demo and I'll show you all my wear test check-ins and I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. I usually like to start out my foundation wear tests with a just real close-up look at my bare skin. This is just clean, moisturized skin no product here at all. That way you have sort of a baseline and you can get a good sense of the coverage and the finish now that you've seen what my little face looks like. These are the shades I'm going to be using. I have fair and light. So I did a little sort of patch swatch test on my face and after seeing these I concluded that it was probably best to mix these two shades. Fair was a little bit too yellow and light was just a little bit too dark. So mixed together, they kind of balanced each other out. I'm applying to one side of my face here. That way you can see 
a true side-by-side -side of one layer of this foundation versus just completely bare skin, this is a great way to really see how it changes the look of the skin. The finish looks great. I think the coverage is more on the medium side, not quite as full coverage as I was expecting from something that is claiming to be both foundation and concealer, but overall it covers up my redness and kind of evens out any little blemishes I have. Of course, I had to even out the other side for this wear test. I am going to be filming other videos today. I'm using only one pump of each color and I did have a little bit left over on the back of my hand after mixing these two. So I would say about a pump and a half is all I really needed to completely cover my whole face. It blended really quickly and easily with my damp ColourPop Pretty Fresh sponge. And here's a close-up look at just one layer of this foundation with no other products on top. You'll get to see close-up with some more makeup later. But I'd say one layer, this looks nice. The finish and the coverage is really beautiful and natural looking. So let's jump into some of the wear test check-ins now. Okay, this is my first check-in wearing the new Physicians Formula Butter Believe It foundation. I've been wearing it for just over three hours now. Obviously I did apply other makeup. I didn't do any concealer, powder, setting spray. All I did was some shimmery blush, some tinted lip balm, and then obviously brows and eyeshadow and all that good stuff. But I didn't put anything else additional on my face except for that shimmery blush. So let's take a really close-up personal look at how this foundation is doing after just over three hours. So far, I think the finish looks really, really nice. Typically, when I get this much coverage, this is like a decent medium coverage. I tend to feel like it looks a little bit more heavy on the skin for me. That's why I lean more towards light coverage products. But I think this looks very, very natural on the skin, just the overall look. It doesn't look really heavy on the skin. I want to get close up in some of my problem areas. First of all, the under eye area isn't as much coverage as I would personally prefer. This is supposed to be a foundation and concealer in one. Found sealer vibes, anyone? So I think in the future, I am going to pair this with a concealer just so that I get a little bit more under eye coverage. But it's not terrible, honestly. I would just like to bump up the coverage a little bit more, maybe a little bit more brightness under the eye. This tends to be a very dry area for me. So far, it looks good. It doesn't look patchy. It doesn't look heavy. I think it looks really nice. Let's see. The nose crease is another problem area for me. It is bunching up a little bit there. Not terrible though. If I had done a little translucent powder or a little finishing powder, something may help prevent that. But not too bad, honestly. Let's look at the old between the brows. That's another problem area for me. Looks really good. This is settling a little bit into my forehead lines. Happens, I have forehead lines, so product gets stuck in there inevitably. I think overall, so far at this three hour mark, I'm impressed. The finish looks really natural. I think the coverage for a foundation is really nice, especially considering that this hasn't flattened out or made my skin look really heavy. Probably not really working for me as a concealer, but you know, the wear test isn't over. The jury is still out. So far at this midday mark, pretty happy with it. Not gonna lie, pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna continue wearing this for another three to four hours. I'm gonna film another video. I'm gonna do some other stuff, life stuff, around the house stuff, maybe fold some laundry, get a little crazy, who knows? Check back in with you in a few hours. So I'll see you then, which will be now for you, but it'll be later for me. Okay. Okay, see you then. All right, bye. Okay, it's time for my final check-in. We are at just about seven hours of wear. So let's go right in and take a really, really close up look and see how the day treated this face. I think it wore off 
a little bit right here. That happens to me quite a bit. I haven't been holding my phone up or anything, so this is just wear, regular wear and tear. I didn't wear a mask today. I wasn't talking on the phone, so let's take a look around the mouth and chin now. It looks pretty decent. Again, I think I lost some coverage here. Probably could have prevented this wearing off here if I had done some powder and some setting spray, which I didn't do. I typically will do one or both of those, but when I'm doing a wear test, I try to introduce as few variables as possible. Looks pretty good. Again, it seems like it's wearing off around my nose. It is looking pretty dry and heavy around the nose. I don't remember it being quite so much at the last check-in. Again, I am missing my under eye coverage. On the cheeks, it looks really nice. I think it looks good on the forehead. It definitely kept a natural glowy type of look. I think even from afar, you can tell where it started to wear off, where it started to look really heavy around the nose area. It seems like some of the issues that I experienced wearing this all day, I could probably remedy with some other products that I would typically normally use anyway. If I did a little finishing powder or a little setting spray, those type of products, which I typically do use anyway, would really combat some of the wearing, maybe even a nice moisturizing setting spray like I typically use would help with some of the heavy appearance around the nose. I am definitely not replacing my concealer with this. For me, I just need a little bit more coverage under the eye. I need a little bit more brightness under the eye. So I don't know about foundation and concealer. It just didn't work that way for me. Overall, the finish is nice. I do tend to prefer a light or medium coverage, so the coverage is great. I like the natural finish. It doesn't look really flat, matte, dry, kind of scaly on me. However, the whole way that this is being sold, basically what amounts to having to pay extra to get the deeper shades, and then the fact that this is decently heavily scented, it just, I don't know. This isn't going to be in my favorites. It's not awful on a grand scale, the fragrance and then the not stocking all the shades. I can't really say that I recommend it. I can make it work for me. I'm not going to throw it in the landfill or anything, but it feels like another example of how a lot of brands are just dropping the ball when it comes to being inclusive for their customers. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about this foundation. Is it something you've had your eye on? Have you tried it? Did you have a totally different experience with this than I did? I always love to hear what you think about things too, even if we don't agree, even if we don't have the same experience with the product. It's always nice to hear what other people's opinions are. So leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Uh... Anytime you want to start talking, that'd be great. Okay, great. Killing it. A lot of... What was I saying? Great. Nailing it. <sighs> Let's... Now I just want to... I am going to add... Uh, 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 getting a little flustered. Really? Great. My ponytail has just been degrading and dissolving throughout the day. Has that happened to anybody else? Can't be just me. Ah, ah, bleh, bleh. Sorry, I don't know what that was. Why, Physician's Formula? Why? I hope you're having a great day. And if you're not, just remember that no matter what, I love your face and you know, I'll, I'll hang out with you again soon. Or you can just click on one of my old videos and then we can hang out again right now if you want. Okay, you're awesome. And I will see you soon, okay? I love your face, bye.